Alright then, time to start another new season of this game that we call Football Tactics and Glory. Some glory, not a great deal of glory, not enough for an upgrade. Yes, doing the math in my head, short of us having a miracle season where we win the league, we just cannot get more money from home victories than we can from this. Okay, this leaves us with a goalkeeping controversy because we already have our goalkeeper. I would be very happy to make this guy my full-time goalkeeper if he could learn strong goalkeeper. The problem is I don't know if he would be able to until he reaches specialization level 4. If I field him as a defender in the first game of the season, does he still gain defensive EXP and can I still make him a universal defender? In the meantime, whilst we can still get some money from Hewitt, I think it's time to part ways with him. And of course I'll want to renew Malin for three years because he's definitely going to be part of our long term. Bag might level up if we win our next game so I'm thinking he only needs one more year for now because I don't know if he's going to factor into our plans long term. First game of the season now against Oxford, massive eyes lighting up moment for me as they still have not got an actual goalkeeper. Oh, cool. Bag is actually going to be useful this season. Although he is going to get immediately tackled. I shouldn't be too harsh on him for that, though. What if I just move Jerd into position for a later turn and uh, hoof it up? Oxford, you going to respond? Oh, okay, they did kind of respond by not allowing Jerd to take a cannon shot. However, Jerd does not need a cannon shot to be a threat to score here. He just has to get around Watson, which is exactly what he does. We are 1-0 up without even having to use a skill. And Bag is actually doing a very good job of himself. It is helped by Deerman passing straight into him instead of trying to go around. Does Liddell get uh, defender EXP? Yes. Okay, he's going to try and not meg. Oh no, he's going to take a regular shot. I thought he'd at least try to meg. And if Challenger manages to slot this home... Oh, he's actually low rolled that. Now, Liddell being a goalkeeper currently means that we can't rely on him to make any actual defensive plays. He's just going to sit there and get, learn how to play outfield again. Uh, not as planned... Ah, he tried to rainbow instead of nutmegging. Nutmeg a little bit too risky in this situation. I think we just let Bins take the ball. That's all good. And then we just shoot. Chance for... Oh! But it doesn't look like they actually have a way to get the ball to the danger man up here. And in fact, they don't. But, oh, they somehow get a corner off of it. We need to make sure someone gets Monchardi out of the way. How did he not... St uh, how? How did we not push him out of the way there? He wasn't even that strong. We do get some level ups and a specialization increase for the fellows. So now I can continue down the playing out path. I'm going to make a move here that I think ultimately has to be done even if it's going to weaken us in the short term because I think if we sell Walton, he's our weakest central defender. They won't have him for that long but he might be able to uh, put Northampton into contention. I think I've got to do it. Pope Joy for three years. Draco for three years. I, I, I might not even need all of these to be renewed for three years, but I've got the money now. Might as well do it. I can probably protect my uh, team just fine if I put Trivet next to the two weakest defenders. So even if they manage to dribble around... Actually, I should probably put Pope Joy on this tile anyway, because they can't actually cannon from this tile. Huh. That turned into a shot. Let's try it. Does Trivet have another chance? Yes, he does, as a matter of fact. Okay, never mind then. That's not an insignificant amount of control. I think we take the press to... Oh! Doesn't really matter. Oh, ball don't lie! 
That ball don't lie. On paper, if I was to make this tackle... You flaming idiots, you've just given Jerd a... Oh, what the... I'm going to try and bait someone from further back to make that play, and even then, it's a line ball play. He does make it, but it was worth a try. Uh, this puts us in a hot mess where we have to greatly compromise our line. Honestly, I think our best chance is to try and ride with Hutchinson again. And they have fouled. They've done easily the wisest thing they could have done in this situation and walled up against the cannon shot. You know, that was a that was not a very good idea. I think he should have just held it in the corner rather than dribble back because now Jerd actually has half a chance of taking that ball away from him, which is exactly what he does. Okay, we got one more corner kick. A decent chance. Not a great chance, but a decent chance of making it with Trevor, and that's why I'm riding it. I don't think we have we realistically have another wee way to put together a corner. Fantastic! Blackpool's sudden bout of idiocy leads to Jerd making a crucial tackle and that's why, like I said, I'm glad that Jerd is actually uh, gaining defense. Okay, so Blackburn have a very unorthodox style of attack, heavily focused on the wings and that has I don't want to give him a chance to rain by faint and still get to break in, so I'm actually pushed Attil and Liddell all the way back into the corner tile just so they are denied access to that tile. Okay, so this move is preempting what he's going to do on the next turn because he's going to try and lay off past this guy here unless I move someone in the way. So I've got to do that with Delbridge. And in fact, he thinks better of it and passes down instead. Not that it matters because we low roll with fellows and still give up the goal. I'm going to try a different tactic here. I'm going to have Jerd move to this wing. That way, Draco can later pass it to him more easily. We can still reach him and in fact, it isn't blocked by anyone. So it does give us a chance to, okay, that's why I didn't do it before, because there is a wing back in the way. Which means this is just going to have to be a regular shot. One that doesn't work at all. He's, oh, actually, they're not even going to try and score, unless this is some elaborate plan to use their Meg, which it is. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. How does he score from there? Oh, of course. But we should still be able to maybe do something with chalk, unless we can't. Oh, so of course we can't. Oh, actually, I don't think he's... Oh! What a crock of you-know-what. Let's not get too disheartened by that. It doesn't matter how much you lose by in the end. That was a bad matchup for us. I think Challenger's time comes in the second half, so I'm actually going to put bins on for the first half just to get him a little extra experience because him and Mayland are kind of lagging behind the rest with uh, this. I'll move Trevor into a more favorable position because right now I was right to do that because he uh, was able to head that away. But right now, Garlic is the main threat. We can't let him get into here because he'll just be able to uh, cannon shot. Can you make that tackle? No. Which I believe Hutchinson means Hutchinson has to come in and make this press. Oh, of course he can't do anything with it. So I thought for a moment we were going to be able to ride our luck there, but... We still have a chance of an equaliser in this game, though it has been made significantly harder. Hutchinson was tired again. It's going to have to be off Challenger's boot now. Either that, or we get uh, we uh, we get a uh, nutmeg with Draco later that allows us to pass it through everyone into Jerd. That was why I put Pope Joy there because I knew that. Warrener was going to get a chance to uh, do something tricky. We do have one last roll of the dice here after that intercept. Delbridge moving to here. 
It's going to have to be the sweeper because otherwise the left back is going to affect it. Oh, I had an idea in my mind and I didn't think uh, to check for offside. This match represents a good opportunity for us to get our season back on track because you can see what's supposed to be their sweeper is not actually a sweeper. This attack does not does not uh, scare me in the slightest. We've got ways to deal with the nutmeg. This guy's an amateur. Okay, that's not the end of the world, even though it does block off this cannon shot side because we can always go to this side with the ball instead. Let's just loft it up. Okay. Yeah, I don't mind a reset, especially when they're deep in their own territory. Very dangerous. Okay, not dangerous enough. Although, I could try again. Oh, I was hoping to be able to at least draw a throw in in one direction or the other. Thankfully, we don't get punished for it. Although our track record with corner kicks has been anything but solid, so let's not count our chickens just yet. Or we can. What if I moved it to the corner? No, they would ju they would be able to get the ball. I think this is the only way I can put this game to bed in enough time. Roll to one eventually. We killed Fawn though. And we can take the ball off him for three. That's that's really good. They've got no centre back here, which means I can move in like this. Give the ball up. Better than fifty of taking it with precision shots. I think we do the power shot though, because it that does mean we have a chance of Oh, never mind, we score anyway. I was gonna say that if we missed with the power shot there was a chance we'd get another chance. But instead we just win the game 1-0, so our season's back on track after a couple of brutal losses. This may be the last game of the episode, or I may do one more, but anyway, Peterborough United. I'm counting on Hussey not being able to do too much on the flank, because he doesn't have that, that many people he can cross to. The centre forward is all the way on the other side, there's no one with head play, aside from the defenders. Meanwhile, he, they're just... Oh, they've got a cannon shot immediately. So why did he dribble up, costing himself energy, when he could have just shot immediately? Now, for some reason, they've actually passed it to the other guy instead. Oh, I see why they tried to pass it to the other guy. Atil was in position to nerf that cannon shot. Just a regular tackle. Oh, or just get sent off. Okay, they're not putting their uh, shooter on the ball. And in fact, they're not going to do anything. They're just going to... I mean, but how does that help you? Delbridge with his layoff pass can set up Jerd. They don't have a sweeper. This is a good chance. Let's do something stupid. I'm going to have Jerd line up here, and then I'm going to bring Chalk all the way up just to act as the pick. Okay, it did work uh, th uh, that... Oh! Oh! Be right. It is... Fantastic. Oh, come on! That really should not have been an equaliser. There is, a, there is no way. Which means, far from being able to call this match done, we need Challenger. I did say I had my doubts we were going to be able to pull this off once. And, oh! He's tried to defend against that when he's dragged himself out of position. All of a sudden, it's 2-1. I have learned from the mistakes of the first goal we conceded to Peterborough, and I now have our best remaining defender, Popejoy, positioned here. So if this guy tries to do something funny again, we'll have a better person to try and... Okay, he's just going to... But uh, we got the block. Uh, yeah, we'll move Jerd up, but we only need to press. We don't need to do anything stupid. Now we've basically given him a 3B. Actually, it's not really a 3B because his 
Nutmeg skill got dropped down to three. But in hindsight, I probably would have had Jerd line up here. And just in case he loses that ball, we better mark their remaining striker. But he doesn't lose it. So that's probably game. I'm not going to say... Okay, yeah, it is game. We've pulled off a big heist after going down to 10 men. Jerd's somehow coming up with a brace. We are now fifth. Uh, the top two are distancing themselves with points, but... It's all to play for in the promotion race. This might be the season we sneak it, though if we do, it's going to make for a very tough second league.